Hey, this is Bruce Naylor, your Boomer Consumer. Today we're looking at the Edifier Neo Buds Pro High Res True Wireless Earbuds. Now these were sent to me for review at no cost, however, all opinions of my own. No one's reviewed the video prior to posting, and the price as of the date of this recording is $130 for the pair. If you want more information, the Amazon affiliate link for these is in the description down below. Let's talk about the Neo Buds Pro. And first, we want to start with the various Bluetooth codecs that are supported with these. SBC, AAC, LDAC, and LHDC, which is supported on very few Bluetooth devices as of right now. Now, LHDC means low latency, high definition audio codec. And that supports up to 24-bit, 96 kilohertz sample rate, up to 900 kilobits. However, as I said, not too many devices support that just yet. However, my phone does support LDAC, and the reported frequency response is between 20 to 40 kilohertz. Now, the NeoBuds Pro includes a Knowles-based armature, and that gives you better high-frequency response. And then there's a dynamic driver, right, that gives you more punchy bass, and it's got an electronic uh, crossover. The hybrid ANC can reduce background noise up to about negative 42 dB. So there's six built-in microphones with these, three of which are used for making phone calls, right? Uh, gives you nice clear calls, no issue with phone calls. Another feature that I do like is game mode. And that gives you a low latency of 80 milliseconds um, with these Bluetooths. Now, battery life, let's talk about that for just a moment is rated up to six hours on a charge. And of course you would get 18 more hours by putting them back into the case for a grand total of 24 hours. That's with active noise canceling off. They're rated at IP54 for dust and water resistance. The NeoBuds Pro come in an attractive silver box and it does have a premium feel to it. Inside, you're gonna find the case with the NeoBuds Pro and it kind of has an Apple-esque feel to the thoughtful tabs for removal. And when you open the case, a red light on the case indicates it's ready for pairing. It reminded me of the Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. Underneath is the accessory box, and in it is a nice little travel bag for, you know, carrying these around. Nice touch, by the way. And you get six additional ear tips to ensure a good fit. Included is also a USB-A to Type-C cable for charging, and a small user guide is included. When you get these, the first thing you want to do is install the Edifier Connect app. Do that before you try pairing these, okay? I used the QR code and downloaded from the site. Pretty simple to do. Um, then in the app, you're going to choose the NeoBuds Pro, and then you can begin customizing and configuring the earbuds. All right, going into the app... Skip that. We're gonna choose the Neobud series. And there is the main interface for the app. Uh, one thing I wanna point out is that the indicator for battery life, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to work very well to tell you how much charge time is left in the case. But let's go over the main interface. You have your different cancellation modes high cancellation, low noise cancellation, ambient sound, and then normal. When you tap ambient sound, you get this little uh, slider up here on how much you want to increase it or decrease it. Interestingly enough, when I chose high noise cancellation, first time around that same slider popped up on the side and I was able to adjust the maximum amount of cancellation. I have never got it to repeat that again even after I've uninstalled, reinstalled the software or installed it on my iPhone 11. It just, I don't know what happens there. That being said, um, you have these different settings on here. Let's go to the top. This little gear is your settings for the edifier, your tap setting. Let's go over that. Interestingly, interestingly enough, Sorry about that, I can't speak too well today. There's no options for single tap, just double and triple tap. You can sign those either left or right earbud or you can do combinations thereof. 
And this is where you can change those settings on here. Pretty much it. Let's go get out of there. Disconnect from Bluetooth, repairing, uh, return to factory defaults, power them off, your tap sensitivity. I kind of increased mine from medium to a little bit higher. I found sometimes the taps just didn't work quite as well as what I wanted them to, but by increasing the sensitivity, that kind of took care of the job. Let's get out of there, we'll confirm that, get back out. All right, let's get back to here. Now, we come over here, we have this sound turning. I'm not sure what that really does, just gives you a nice graphic. But you have two built-in presets for the kind of the, the voice of these earbuds. You have classic mode and dynamic. I found dynamic to be a little bit more detail, a little bit more presence to it. What you really want to do is you want to go into the customized mode and you just double tap this little gear. And you can create your own presets, right? So uh, in my case, I named it more bass. I boosted up the bass. And you have a frequency or a factor on here, which is changeable. I just left it at 0.7 for 100 hertz, 2K, 4K, 8K. Again, you can add more and you can share them, etc. If you tap add, new customized settings, etc. That's what you have on here. So this is basically your equalizer for the NeoBuds Pro. Getting out of there, slide over. This is where you activate or deactivate the game mode. Down at the bottom, so you can see this better, you have these settings, mail, discover, and mine. Ignore mail and discover. It's just marketing for Edifier. Let's go over to mine. Again, you go to your customized tunings, supported devices, add a widget. You do have widgets on here. I've not set any widgets up and about us. When you're in an app, you can also scroll, pull down, and you can see that you can double tap and get back into your uh, interface for the earbuds. Pretty much that's all there is to the app. Let's talk about the sound quality of these, right? So first off, I found that high noise cancellation gave me the best sound. When I went to low noise or ambient mode, it just sounded more thin and not as, the bass wasn't as powerful and the mids weren't there as much and the highs sounded a little bit subdued. I recommend using it with high noise canceling, uh, cancellation on. Now I found classic rock, you know, We Will Rock You by Queen. Uh, Boston's more than a feeling. They have really nice bass with these. Really clear highs. Mids were maybe just a bit subdued, but things improved overall when I used the album or listened to the album Wine Light from Grover Washington Jr. It sounded really detailed, pleasant with the horns. Then after listening to my demo tracks for hours, including Seven Years by Nora Jones, One, Two, Three, Four by Feist as examples, I was not disappointed in the tonality of the music nor did they ever feel tiring to the ear. Again, I gotta mention, that was with high noise cancellation enabled. Moving on to the build quality, and I'll give you my final thoughts on these. These are easy to get in and out of the case, which is nice, right? They stay firmly attached when, when handling the case. And I do think the case and the earbuds themselves seem to be fairly solidly made. As for the price, I think the active noise canceling works nearly as well as some of their competition that cost a lot more money than 130 bucks. But it's not perfect. It doesn't compare, I think, as well as my AirPods Pro. The sound is excellent if you take your time to use the software and make yourself a custom profile. The default stuff, I'm not very keen on. So customize your sound profile with the Edifier Connect app. Battery life was pretty accurate. I actually got about four and a half, uh, about four and a half hours before the buds needed recharging with ANC enabled. 
10 minute quick charge will give you somewhere about 50 minutes of play time. Edifier clearly has some work yet to do on the Connect app, but all in all, these are very good earbuds for the price range. That's it. That's Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.